Folks, I gotta tell you, I am a genius in the most sarcastic sense of the word. I had a little bit of a slowdown last night in the progress of my table that, uh, well, we'll just say required some medical attention. So, I'm not gonna give it away. I'm gonna make you work for it. Go ahead and uh, watch what I've got here. And you just let me know when you start getting that tingly feeling in your stomach like somebody's about to do something stupid. Well, it's time to finally build some legs for this thing. And I'm gonna start by salvaging some materials. I have three four by fours here that came off of a giant four by eight pallet that, uh, well, price free, ka-ching. So I need to uh, kind of cut out the useful parts of this so that I can make some legs. Okay, so I've gone through and I've sorted most of this stuff out, and let me tell you, some of it's a little uglier than I expected, but we're going to make it work. I had to cull a couple of these out from being verticals, from being uprights, because those uprights will have, uh, I'll have to be cutting tenons in them, and I can't have tenons with a bunch of knots in it like that end or that end. So these couple that are like that kind of made the decision for me. So I'm going to cut a 45 on them and uh, they will become the base pieces. Mark it around. Mark the width of my tenon. This is going to leave a two inch by two inch tenon. Mark the face. I got clamped down. I've got two different saws that I'm using here. I've got a crosscut saw that uh, that is really easy to start accurately on the line. Just enough to get that kerf started. And then I'll switch over here to my rip saw, which is uh, a lot sharper and cuts very, very efficiently. Cut down on one side and then go around to the other side so that I can see where I'm stopping. Now I should have a pretty well flat cut. Now just get rid of everything that's not tenon. Feel it? 
Yeah, I did too. I stopped even and went, whew, man, that was close. Then what did I do? I went right back to doing it just how I was before. And here's the result. Yeah, five stitches later, I'm now diminished in my capability because I only have one operable thumb and I still have a deadline. Stick with me. We're going to get it done one way or the other.